everyone. Please ignore how rough I look. We have so much to catch up on. This is officially the last study abroad video, which is really depressing, but I'm actually like also really ready to go home. I'm spending my last three full days in Brighton. Today's Sunday. I just got here. I'm in an Airbnb. I'm gonna explain a little bit. I'm staying here until Thursday, but my flight is like midday Thursday to go back to New York. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I have like full days just to do whatever I want. I've had the most chaotic last like two weeks because I got kicked out of my dorm. So I had to move out of there and then I had all my stuff. I have three luggages, one big suitcase, one carry-on suitcase, and then my base weekender. It's like a lot of luggage. Then I was like, what should I do? I have all this time and I didn't really want to go back home yet. So I did a solo trip to Italy, which I tried to vlog, but it just didn't work. But I didn't get to vlog it, unfortunately. I really wanted to. I got back from Italy, had a very nice trip, and then my stepmom was visiting for work. So I stayed with her for a couple nights. And then finally I have reached the last leg of my homeless journey of like not having a dorm. And I'm in an Airbnb in Brighton because I didn't really see the point in staying in London when there's literally nobody here anymore. And I love Brighton and I never really got to like stay overnight or anything. So I just picked out a cute little cheap Airbnb. I made it into town. I'm sitting on the little rocky beach. I went into Sainsbury to get some food. I didn't want to like find place to like get actual food. So I just got like one of these cheese twists, which is like my favorite thing from the UK. I'll show you. And I also got this coffee. Again, I didn't want to find a place like for real. So I just picked Cafe Nero. Not my favorite coffee ever, but it's good. It's like, it looks a little bitter for me, but it's not bad. I'm listening to my Goodbye London playlist that I made the other day. I was listening to that because I didn't know what else to listen to. And I was like walking around. It was like nothing new. You're on your own kid. Two ghosts so i'm just in a very sad mood now it's like partly sunny today can you see so i don't know how much tan i'm gonna be getting i just want to sit here in the sun this is just i don't even know why these don't exist in america Want to give you guys a little update my hair is an ugly little bun because the wind keeps like blowing it and getting all tangled i have a meeting for school at 4 30 because it's like new york time and i need to go back at some point and like have enough time for the meeting so i'm kind of getting annoyed because i'm having fun the sun is like so bright the nail plates couldn't take me today so i'm going to spend the next couple hours i have before i have to do my meeting and go to this cafe that i really wanted to go to that's right on the water so i also got a pret cooler thing i have to drink it up because the cafe is like right there I just got back home because I have my meeting soon. My friend who lives in Brighton, she came and we talked on the pier for a little bit and then I had to go for my meeting. But it's so annoying, it's in the middle of the day. Like 4.30 is like peak time to be out. Since I'm already home, I'm gonna just like read my book, maybe outside or something, do some editing. And then I think I'm gonna film a video. So I'm gonna just fix my hair up really quickly before I do any of that. And then also for my meeting, it's like in 20 minutes. I have my heat protectant. This is the last of it that I could take in my little travel size thing. I don't know why, I just dried like super straight and I kind of hate it. I've honestly used a lot less heat since being here or at least i blow dry it a lot less i usually just let it air dry and then i straighten weird parts of it but in the states i'd be blow drying my hair and using heat on it like every single day i'm gonna show you how i fix it and do this thing that i saw where you just like literally just so bad for your hair then it makes like a little bit of a wave just because i have so much weird texture that this will kind of hide it and it doesn't have to look super perfect but it is really bad for your hair also it takes kind of a while so i just kind of run through my hair and do random pieces and just got in with my meeting no words i think my outfit's actually really cute i don't know about my hair i look like i'm going to the beach or something but i don't know i just like it was kind of long and like weirdly textured so i was like let me just put it in a braid and i feel like it's kind of cute i'm gonna use the same one i had yesterday i don't even know what the weather is let me check it's 62 degrees which is kind of cold but it's fine i'll be fine I just finished my nails. I got this blue color. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the before, but it was like crusty old pink nail polish. My first time doing gel, I really liked it. It was so fast. It took 23 minutes for the whole process. I don't understand how gel works, but I paid 35 pounds. I don't know how good that is for gel. You guys can tell me, but not bad, honestly. I like them a lot. I feel like happy now. I don't know what my plans are. Maybe go read on the pier. The sun's kind of coming out or get lunch. five hours ago i've just been editing videos i have been getting tired so early it's literally like 11 30 and i'm about to pass out i'm so tired i got like 200 and 
60 pages into this. I don't like this. I'm gonna finish it, but like it's definitely looking like a three star. I don't even know how I feel about it. I just don't really wanna read it. Like I just have that feeling. I think I'm gonna try to finish this either tonight or like early tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm just gonna chill, probably go to the pier one last time, walk around, get some food. I didn't have dinner tonight because I didn't have time to get anything and I didn't have any motivation to get up. So I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm kind of ready to go home at this point. Like I'm having fun, but I'm also ready to go home, see my friends. Like I have a really fun next two weeks coming up. I get back home, I unpack my stuff. I go see my friends that night. And then the next day we have Taylor Swift. A week after Taylor Swift, I have my birthday and I'm 21. So like that's crazy. So yeah, I have so much that's happening and I have to move back into my apartment in between all that. So <laughs> good morning, everyone. At like five in the morning, a seagull came near my door. <laughs> started like squawking and then like bumping into the door like repeatedly. And I thought I was like gonna die. I thought someone was like breaking in it sounded like a car alarm it was like meh, meh, meh. i don't know that was a fever dream so now it's almost 11 i've been on my phone i am realizing i do not want to read my book <laughs> i'm going to because it's a quick easy thing but it's like taking all my time to read this book and i'm not even that excited i can feel it i just don't want to read it i don't want to open it i don't know what i'm gonna do today what can i do by myself you know like i get coffee yesterday i got a chai from that place cafe coho it was really good but it's like the seating area was like i don't know if i could spend that long in there let's check the weather maybe it'll be another pier day 70 degrees today and partly sunny if you guys don't know in england that is summer weather as good as it's gonna get yesterday i also went to lunch by myself i didn't show it because i was so awkward like I couldn't handle that but I went to like this Italian restaurant by myself because I really wanted like they had really cheap pasta so I just really wanted that so I was like I'm just gonna do it and of course I got sat between two groups of in their 20s men so that was really fun I cannot go back and do that again like anywhere in Brighton actually so I don't know what I'm gonna eat for lunch I probably maybe will get something that I can have takeout so much to do today but also nothing to do today at the same time like I have to do something in the daytime to like soak up my last five hours of Brighton when I come back it's like packing time I finished getting ready I'm wearing the same thing I've been wearing every single day this week because I can't find any of my other clothes that I like want to wear for this weather I'm also wearing this little napkin shirt from Target and then I have my blue shorts on <laughs> because I only brought one pair of shorts to study abroad so I also changed out my tote though. I'm not wearing this one anymore. I'm gonna wear my, this one. Hi everyone, I haven't updated you in a while. I literally only went to town for four hours today so there wasn't really much to vlog. I got to town, I went to the burger place that I went to last time and I got like a chicken burger. Red meat is a no for me anymore. The chicken was just like really good. And then I was right across the street from the souvenir shop that I went to last time so I went there as well because I have to get some souvenirs. I'll give you a little haul, I got a lot. And then I just went to the pier and read my book. I'm still not done. I wanted to be done with both of these by today but i got to page 316 out of this and there's like 500 pages and it's i do not like that book like I, oh my god so i told you guys about how i have all this cash i have to spend <laughs> like there could be worse problems was trying to use my cash all day today and nobody would take it so i ended up buying my lunch in credit card money and then i bought a ton of souvenirs i bought $40 worth of souvenirs for people because I had to buy so many and I was like, okay It's all gonna be fine I'm gonna give them my $50 and they're gonna take it and then it'll be fine. No, she was like, oh, we can't take that And I was like, what do you mean you can't take that? And she was like, we don't take cash or like no She said they take cash, but they don't take bills like that big, which is just 50. So I was like Okay I had no other choice, but I had to give her my card and I'm just like crying inside because like of course like love my friends love my fam But like I don't love you guys $40 worth on my credit card I loved you $40 worth in cash because that's what I plan to spend cash to me is fake money And also I'm leaving tomorrow So spending currency that's not gonna even work in the US doesn't really like get into my head as like spending money But like I spent $40 that I don't have on my credit card. So that's great But I'll give you a souvenir haul because I got so much I'm not gonna tell you who everything is for because per Personally, I haven't really figured out that yet So I don't want to like tell you that like I got this one thing for this person because maybe I'll change my mind and give it to somebody else because I don't really know the vibe yet I just got a bunch of souvenirs with some people in mind But like if I like need to give a gift to somebody because I see them before somebody else I have to give them the souvenirs I'm not gonna promise anything to anybody besides myself because I got myself something I should have done better I didn't get any souvenirs in London. Maybe I'll get some at the airport tomorrow. I didn't get any like 
souvenirs, keychains, anything because I just would see a bunch of souvenir carts and then be like, yeah, I'll get it next time. And then there was no next time. I, I never bought anything. And the souvenirs in London are not that bad. Like there's these carts that are all around. There are like $1 for like keychains. I just have just gotten that. <sighs> in my defense, I don't even buy souvenirs for myself besides like one time I got a Brighton magnet for myself. But other than that, I don't buy any souvenirs from other countries. In my entire like nine trips worth, I bought one Amsterdam keychain and that was it. So I don't really buy souvenirs like I should and I, I love getting gifts from people too so I know how good it feels but I'm just such a forgetful person and I'm always like yeah the next one I see I'll buy some and like also when you're doing like souvenir shopping in another country you kind of walk past a lot of souvenirs before you're like oh like there'll be something better like let's keep walking and then that's what happens there is a good shop in brighton i forget what it's called you'll know it it's in the lanes if you guys are around and want to go to this place but they have really cute funny brighton related like keychains and magnets with one friend in mind i got a brighton coaster because i love the drawing they have on this and yeah it reminded me of her so i got her that also i don't know if she would like a coaster but i don't know i just got it and then i also got her a brighton magnet because uh, again it reminded me of her and like i'll explain it to her when i give it to her but like this is hers like these two are for her the rest i don't know what's going to who then i got this really cute Brighton magnet. I don't know. They had some interesting designs, but I feel like this one, even if people don't care that I went to Brighton, like it is a cute magnet to have. So I just got that because I like the little lady on the beach. And then the rest are keychains. I'm really excited. So for myself, this is mine because I don't have a keychain for my keys when I get back. I got myself this little Brighton ice cream keychain and I just think the yellow is so cute. I feel like I shouldn't, you know, think like this, but I really like this keychain too. So I got one for myself or if I need to give it to somebody else, I'll give it to them because like I'm already keeping this one. But I got two of the same ones this just says like brighton i just think they're really cute but you know again if i can't find a reason to keep it <laughs> i'll give it to, to a friend and then i got this one it's also really cute it's like it's like two people on a motorcycle i just think it's really cute again it goes with the vibe of like this drawing there's one i found that says to say no to milfs and on the back it's green like i think that's so cute and i have a friend who would think this is funny oh my god i almost just broke that and then i have this one that's just like a lady and it's says Brighton. I don't know. There was a couple that were a little odd. So I kind of just was like, that one is the best I could find because I wanted to change it up. And yeah, those are all the keychains I got. All of this cost me 30 pounds, which is like $40. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm kind of crying inside, but it's fine. And it's now 8.30 and I've been home since like six. So I have no excuse anymore. I have to start packing. I'm basically going to repack everything because I took everything out. And I need to watch a show while I do that. So I think I'm going to watch Summer I Turn Pretty again because I don't know why the new season's coming out soon i just feel like i'm in the mood for it but the problem with me whenever a new season comes out for a show i have to watch the old season right before i watch the new season because my memory is so bad that i won't remember what happened so i don't know like i'm just gonna rewatch it right now but i might have to rewatch it again in two months because i'm not gonna remember any of this but i have a lot on my plate with packing so i think i'm just gonna end the video here i don't know who cares about a packing montage i feel like that's kind of boring so i'm just gonna end it here which means this is the end of the study abroad videos finally done i hope you guys enjoyed having a little staycation with me i know this vlog was kind of slow and boring but i just that's my whole week i was just taking it chill because i've been traveling a lot and like i'm just ready for a break so i hope you enjoyed having a little fun time with me and i will see you in my next video for my taylor swift concert oh my god i am so excited when you're watching this i don't know how many days it is but right now it's three days until my concert so i'll see you guys in my next video bye